the church fathers, I thought, okay, now Saint Ignatius of Antioch was discipled presumably by John himself. Clement of Rome, we know, was discipled by Saint Peter himself. And so not that everything that Clement of Rome or Ignatius of Antioch or Irenaeus wrote is gospel truth, but their lens of scripture is gonna be way more on point than mine is. You know, my dad wrote a book, actually, and if someone would come to me and say, you know, I heard you telling a story about your dad's book, and actually you're wrong about the interpretation of it. Like, are you kidding me? I lived it, and I was there when he wrote it. You can't tell me that your interpretation, often some cubicle is right and mine is wrong. You know, and I realized it would be the height of arrogance for me to say that to St. Ignatius of Antioch, or Clement of Rome, or Irenaeus, or Justin Martyr, or, or any of these, 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 especially the early patristics. And um, I had to realize that not only am I seeing that, but what they're saying about apostolic succession, if the disciples of disciples were already on board with this, how can I say that God just abandoned his church for 1400 years and then suddenly brought it to light through the reformers?